Hello, I'm Carl Bratch. I'm here with Gina, and you may know her as a girl and her bike. Now, Gina was one of the first people to run this knee brace in actual competition. This brace just got to the USA two days before her last race, and she put him to the test. So Gina, real quick, if you just give us an introduction of yourself and kind of what you ride and kind of the style of riding that you do. Okay, so I mostly ride dirt. Um, I ride a Beta Cross Trainer. Um, it's more of an enduro bike, so I do a little bit of everything. I do mostly trail riding and a little bit of enduro stuff. I do the Big Six Grand Prix races, and then every once in a while I'll do some track riding at Milestone or something just because the Grand Prix do have a lot of turns and sometimes it brings a lot of motocross uh, stuff into it. Um, but I rode these for the very first time and I was told by numerous people that when you put on knee braces mm -hmm. after wearing regular knee pads, that oh, it's yeah. gonna feel bulky, it's gonna be uncomfortable, and you're not gonna like it. Um, I was a little scared of that, so I tried them on the night before <laughs> and just kind of adjusted them. I will say the entire, I think it was an hour long race, I didn't feel them at all. Like I put them on, I rode within the first two minutes, just wasn't even a thought. It never really hit the seat. Okay. It never got caught on anything. It fit perfectly under my pants, and I'm a pretty, small person, so my pants are pretty That's tight. <laughs> um, so it actually was the most comfortable thing. I probably would wear these over my knee, like my regular knee pads, just in everyday riding. It's awesome. Probably. So Gina has won the first two races that she's raced with these knee braces. The first one was a real one. It was um, in Ridgecrest. In Ridgecrest. So that was a real sanctioned event. And then the second race that she did, she beat a boy, a local boy who you may know. His name is Suburban Delinquent, and we've been teaching him how to ride his WR250, but he borrowed a, a bike from Honda, and he was on a Honda 450R, and Gina, she smashed him. So anyway, knee braces are super important. They keep you protected for if you go down. They keep you protected when you land your bike and you have extra strain put on your muscles and your ligaments. So these braces are recommended for impact protection against meniscus injuries, ACL, MCL, PCL, LCL, joint instability, hyperextension, and hyperflexion. So Gina, that was a big laundry list of things that these braces protect you from. What was the main reason that you wanted to put knee braces on? So prior to getting these knee braces, I pulled, oh, okay, I had micro tears in my knee ligament, mm -hmm. which is this one, I forget what it's called. So um, that was specifically from riding. I twisted my knee to the, uh, my ankle out. So it pulled a couple of the muscles here. So I wasn't really able to um, turn my foot left and right. Okay. I can move it back and forth slightly, um, but that's why I was looking at these because these ones I saw were uh, medically approved yeah. for people with previous or existing knee injuries, which is why specifically I was looking at these over the other ones. Perfect, and that's something you keep in mind. So knee braces are extremely expensive, and most people go to knee braces after they've already had an injury. But knee braces are best used for people that don't have knee injuries. They're a good prevention for that, so you never have to experience that at all. Now, something very unique. You can actually go to your doctor and get a prescription for knee braces. So basically, you pay your copay, and your medical insurance will cover the cost of your knee braces. So that's a little tidbit that most people don't know. So if you have good knees, or you even have bad knees, and you need a new pair of knee braces to protect them, go to your doctor, get a prescription from him, and that cost will be significantly reduced for you on your end. Now, Gina, what did you do to size these up when you first got home with them? Uh, first, I looked through the instructions because I've never used knee braces before. Um, but I, there's these have numbers on them on the straps here, so it tells you which ones to tighten first. Mm -hmm. So I just went through and I tightened them all. And then I also like that there's these little clips right here. So once you get them where you want, mm -hmm. you could just clip it in after and you're not having to mess with the adjustments. Right, it's like a set it and forget it type situation. Yeah. It's really nice. So another key thing about these brand new K8 braces from Pod Active is the fact that the, this whole situation right here has been redesigned. If you go down on your knee on the track, there's no way that your actual knee can make contact with the ground. That's huge. And on the inside of this joint, there's a ligament, basically a rubber piece in there that helps um, give your leg some support when it's in that bending motion. Now, really quick, I want Robbie to come over real quick and we're gonna size these up on Gina and make sure that the initial measurements that she did at home in her own garage were the correct ones. Thanks Robbie for joining us, really appreciate it. So Robbie, when somebody walks into Chaparral Motorsports to inquire about a set of knee braces, what's your number one step? 
main thing to do is get a proper measurement from. So knee braces come with measurements already standard for that fitting brace. So I take a measurement and I measure the outside of their knee, behind their kneecap, far back where the pads of these knee braces are gonna sit, and I go based off of there. So what's the first step in measuring somebody up, Robbie? So I'm gonna measure the outside of their knees behind their kneecap right here with this tool. This tool is going to reach pretty far back for different sized knees. All the measurements are listed right here, right next to the measurement that I'm gonna get after I measure her knee. Her knee is looking like it's measuring around a 3.75, which is gonna fall into the requirements of a small. Small is gonna be from a 3.75 to a 4.25. So what are some of the main things you want to look at when sizing? So we know it's a size small. Mm -hmm. So when you put the brace on your leg, so let's go ahead and grab this one over here real quick. When she's putting this brace onto her leg or when a consumer is putting a brace on her leg, what are the key things you want to look at when getting that thing sized up? Uh, pressure on the sides of the kneecap. So you want to make sure you have good even pressure on both sides of these kneecap. You don't want any loose spots or any gaps in between these because then that would just cause an improper fitting knee braces, which is not good. So Robbie, once you get that nice even pressure on both sides of the knee, what's the next thing you want to look at? This brace in particular actually has adjustments for the top of your thigh and the bottom of your shin, making sure that the brace itself, the structure of it, is gripping in the right spots. The next step is going to be seeing how the top of the knee brace and the bottom of the knee brace is fitting on her thigh and her shin. Now that's something unique with the pod, these brand new KHs, the fact that you can actually swap out both that lower and the upper piece for a piece that's that's either more curved or less curved depending on the structure of the person's leg. Definitely it helps out a lot with getting a proper fit. I know on some people they might have a different size kneecap bases off their thigh, you know, they could have bigger mm -hmm. parts of their body in certain sections. So having that proper fit like that helps out a lot with these braces. Okay, so once you get the good fit on the knee or the pressure on the sides and you get the top and the bottom to fit great around the contour of the front of the, uh, the leg and the shin, what's the next step? You're going to lace up these braces, which actually come with numbers to show you the proper way to lace it up so you can get a proper fit. They actually come with these quick release straps that you can unhook and rehook and without having to undo your Velcro and change your adjustment so you can keep that same adjustment that you made initially. Oh, that's really great. So I have a pair of general knee pads, if you will, and or knee guards, and those I literally have to undo and, and do every single time I take those on and off. So something like this would be great, where you can actually get that Velcro set to that perfect size, and then you have a clip that allows you just to unclip and keep maintain that same size. Definitely. Same. So one of the clips are gonna be right here down on the bottom. We're snapping just as easy as that. The two middle straps are actually gonna be a Velcro strap that we're gonna go through here. Now, Robbie, how, how tight should these straps be? The knee brace straps are gonna be as tight and as comfortable as you can handle. Obviously, you know, a good tight strap is going to be nice, but if it's too uncomfortable, it's no problem loosening it up. As long as it's staying up and not falling down, mm -hmm. your knee brace should be of nice, tight fit, comfortable, though. Sweet. Good deal. All right, Robbie, now that you have this brace completely buttoned up here on Gina's leg, what are the things you want to look for for the end consumer? Like, what, how tight is too tight? So in a range of motion, you're going to feel, when you bend your knee, you're going to feel the brace kind of contract and find spots in your kneecap as you're moving. When you find a pinching spot, you'll know if a brace is not properly fitting you right, or if you don't have it sitting in the right position, or if it's just totally the wrong size in general. So Gina, having worn these braces in a couple races now, what can you explain to the end user who haven't worn a knee brace yet on what they should experience when wearing something like this? Um, my recommendation based off of my personal experience and opinion is at first I made them really tight thinking that they needed to be super tight. Um, I ran them a little bit looser than super tight just so that they wouldn't slip down because once you start riding, you're getting hot, your leg's going to start swelling up a little bit. It's going to feel really uncomfortable. I did not wear a knee brace sleeve. I wore a regular sock that went just above the knee. Uh, that wasn't too bad. I would probably recommend something that goes a little bit higher just so it doesn't rub against your leg. Although I didn't experience any real issue with it rubbing against my leg just because this rubber in here is really soft. So mm -hmm. it's just more it gets dirty um, with all the sweat and stuff underneath if you don't wear a knee brace sock. And there you go. These are the new K8 knee braces from Pod Active. Now these are brand new for this year, 2018, 2019 riding season. 
They have just hit the USA. We have them in stock here at Chaparral Motorsports. So please take a look at our detailed video. We have the Pod Active guys here in our shop talking about the nitty gritty details of this brace. It is phenomenal. One of the most protective braces on the market that you can get. Thank you, Gina, for stopping in today and helping us look at sizing and kind of giving your firsthand experience of how they felt on the track. We really appreciate that. Thank you for having me. I well, really enjoy these braces. They're pretty amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Pod Active. Robbie, thanks for, for coming down. So Robbie's here in our helmet and boot department. He does sizing these braces on people every day. He is our resident pro. So if you have any questions on braces in general, please leave them down here in the comments or you can give customer service a call and ask them as well. But I'm Kyle from Chaparral Motorsports. We have Gina, also known as a girl on her bike, and Robbie. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and ride safe out there.